Hello everyone, it is Canton Ripfist and welcome back to the Ripfist space program where we are flying with crap I can't remember who the hell is on this lander. We're with Bill and Bob Kerman and uh, I did turn off some of the cheats. I turn off the ones that'll keep the vessel from getting destroyed so Bill and Bob have a risk of dying and there's our target right there. The moon. But uh, we're going to actually get to the moon and land on it this time and this video actually might be a fair bit shorter than the last one as it will just be the moon landing so let's see what our best oh jesus christ well no i don't want to add maneuver here okay this may take some time to figure out Hmm. Or should I go for from the apoapsis? I think extending my apoapsis into a periapsis. I yeah, my periapsis into an apoapsis is going to be the best. Okay, why are we getting no mun interception? Is there something missing here, game? Yeah, I get that I'll orbit the sun. Oh, I forgot to set the Mun as my target. Okay, that makes sense. So let's just get rid of this one and go with our... No. Let's just get rid of that one and go with our original plan here. Wait, I saw a little shift in the space-time continuum. Oh, holy shit. That'll get me to Minmus. But no, I just want to get to the moon, goddammit. Let me get to the moon. Okay, just gonna barely drag this. Whoop. That will get me to the moon. At least as best I understand. Anyway, let's do it. Let's speed time up. Says Bill, Bob, and Jebediah. Oh, damn, I'm not going slow enough. I'm in a orbit where I hover above one spot on carbon. That's actually kind of depressing. Okay, okay, slow the fuck down, guys. We're just going to make this thing maneuver. I did leave on the cheats, though, of, uh, infinite propellant and whatnot, because I'm not sure I put enough fuel in this to go places. I know, I'm a cheating bastard, and I shouldn't, but I did anyway. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. I'm gonna start burning a little early. Oh wait, I don't want to do caps lock. Okay, I don't need to start burning early. I can go for a little bit longer. I keep fucking with the time. Because... I just want to make sure I get there with... I get to a few seconds before I need to start burning. Like right now. All right, Bill, Bob, let's do this shit. I can feel physics taking hold, holy shit. Actually, I can't, I wish I did though. All right, I have my hand on the X button ready to cut off the engines. I cut them off a bit early, but that's because I just want to... Okay, and we're good to go. I think. Will we go to the moon? We will go to the moon. Now to speed things up a little bit. 
All right. Thanks to the power of editing, you are now here. I did cut out some of the orbit, but we are getting close. So, yeah. Yeah, we're about to the apoapsis, which is 19,557,555 meters away from Kerbin. Signal strength, 53. Oh, Jesus, we're probably going to run, like, right into the moon or some shit. Nope, there's the untitled spacecraft that I think think the Kerbin and that one died. I think it was... Which ones are on here? Is it Bill... Is it... I think Jebediah was on that one and got murdered. Poor Jeb. But... This is a very long process. Alright. I am getting ready to slow time the fuck back down. Alright, and slow the roll. Okay, maybe speed it up a little bit bit more. Just a tiny little bit. And boom. We're in the Mun's gravity. All right now we gotta add a very quick maneuver to create an orbit. Which way? You know what? It's not the best orbit, but it will do. Right now, let's get this thing into its maneuverability for orbital maneuvers. There's the mun. There's the mun. Speaking of muns, um, while I'm here doing the mun dildo series, big shout out to Chester Mun, uh, for being my first patron. And to another patron who I shall, who shall remain anonymous until they say whether they want recognized or not. But thank you, Chester Munn. You can check him out at the Mimic Chest on Twitter. All right, now let's get back to this. See, so, you now we're about an hour away, so I'm going to speed up time by about fifty. God, this game is just so peaceful. Until you crash. Crashing generally tends to make things not peaceful. But Bill and Bob are fucking lost their shit. They're just like, oh my god. It's space! They've become the Space Corps. Oh, I apologize for sniffing. Missouri! Oh yeah, I can't... Uh, accelerate while under... Well, I can't... Uh, speed up while under time acceleration. <laughs> yeah, this video may actually be very, very short, depending. Alright. What about there, ladies and gentlemen, and otherwise identified? Okay. Gonna switch it to a 10 times speed. That way we just have a nice little countdown. Nice little countdown. Tiny little countdown on the clock, round and around and around. Oh, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit. Okay, that's actually pretty good timing on my part. I will admit that. Just slow the fuck down!
Alright. Come on, guys. Just get it a little bit in there. A little bit more. I want to get as perfected of an orbit as possible. There we go. We are in orbit around the moon. Time to let go of some excess bullshit. Okay, and release. Shit, I forgot to bring C4 to blow them up. Kind of want to land in this crater here. So that's what I'm going to aim for. And there shouldn't... There isn't an atmosphere on the moon, so I shouldn't have any air breaking. Shit. Swiggity swooty. Man, that's good enough. Alright, let's... Whoosh around the mun. By the way, um... A link and a card should pop up to... Uh, Chester Mun's Twitter. And if I forget to do that somehow... Then it will be in the description below. How long do I have? Okay... Just gotta watch my time. Oh shit. Guys, um, get into fucking position for a moment. By the way, a small little uh, cheat with Kerbal Space Program that does not require the Alt F12 trick is if you're, like, doing the, uh, thing where I am, where I use the SAS to uh, get into maneuverability, then just... and it, Well, if you get it into position with maneuverability and it actually starts wobbling really bad, the trick there is to just... Um, actually use time acceleration. Oh, wait, shit. Alright, separate ourselves from the space junk a little bit. Bye-bye, fucker. Alright. Now, I need... To alter my orbit a fair bit. Because I did just fuck it up a little. Oh. Okay. There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna speed things up. Moon. Mun, I'm coming for you. Also, after this, should I send a rover to the moon? Should I go to a different planet, such as Duna. What do you guys think? Everything seems to be in order. I think this tells how far I am above the moon surface. And I have a fairly powerful rocket on here. So... Yeah, I think this is actually a better place than what I had originally intended, so... We're just going to stop, speeding up time. All right, we're getting there. Getting there, ladies and gentlemen. I just really, really need to slow my fucking roll and not lose control. Dun, 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 dun. Wanna avoid copyright infringement, avoid copyright infringement. God damn, I can't get my control straight. Maybe if I turn my camera around here. There we go. Uh, but I have to have my... Uh... Oh shit, no, I don't want to go back up. Game. Yeah, just automatically adjusted. Okay, that's fair. Shit, I need to turn my ass this way a little bit. Bill, Bob, hold on to your fucking anuses, guys. 
Actually, I think if I keep the rocket in line with the retrograde, it should be fine. Alright, we're coming in close to the moon's surface. Would this be the lunar surface or the munner surface? Can somebody clarify that for me, please? The weird thing about the moon is the ground looks farther away than it actually is, and occasionally closer than it actually is. Is this... is this gonna actually... Is the shielded change anything? I don't think it does. Okay. Gonna let gravity take hold. Sticky keys! No, go away! God, I really need to figure out how to shut that off. That just scared the fuck out of me. And... Gentle little plonk. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Oh fuck. Ugh. <sighs> yeah. Well, this is how we're gonna have to get off the mun. But, uh, is my ladder facing up? No, it is not. Come on, roll, bitch. Okay, so the rocket was bigger than I anticipated. Anyway, let's let Bill out first. Bill, you just climb back for a little bit. Let go. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that game. You fucking piece of shit. Should I just leave this thing here? No, I need to get it back into orbit. EVA report. You look up at the sky and search for Kerbin. Suddenly you feel very small. Well, damn. I'm gonna hop to the side a little bit. Gonna plant the flag. Of the Rip Fist Space Program. Plaque text will read. This is the site where Bill and Bob landed on the Mun with the aptly named Mun Dildo Mark I. They felt tiny when they looked at Kerbin. And you know what, Bill? You did proud. Actually, on the flag, the image I used is Jebediah. So, uh, sorry, Bill. Jeb's on that one. But, yeah. We landed on the fucking moon. Now, I won't launch this until I get a ship back into orbit. So, for now, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a suggestion in the comments as to what I should do next. Don't forget to check out all of the links in the description below and in the annotation screen at the end. Also, don't forget to check out the link to Chester Munn's Twitter. He's a great and funny person, and he's honestly one of my best friends. So thank you all once more for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,